Hey guys, it's Swagwave, and I'm here to talk about a very important aspect of my stop motion animation work, video editing. Now, if you've ever wanted to learn how to video edit, make a movie, or put together a stop motion like I do, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and highlighting the new video editing software by DigiArty called Video Prod Vlogger. Now, when I first started doing stop motion on my channel, uh, video editing was the part I knew the least about. If a program like Video Prod Vlogger existed when I was doing stop motion in the beginning, I think video editing would have been so much easier and my videos would have looked a lot better. Okay, so let's open up Video Prod Vlogger here. Um, so we're gonna click, okay, new project. And here's like the laboratory, if you will. Here's the Video Prod Vlogger setup. You got your media library to import stuff. Um, you can see all the, the rail here where you're gonna put all your video clips, your audio, uh, your footage, your effects. A big welcome says, please add media files to library. This is where we start. Let's click this plus button here. Um, and we'll, I have quick footage here for us to download and just try the system out. So this is a He-Man stop motion that, I've, uh, that I'm working on for you guys. And uh, let's just click and drag it. Okay, that was simple. So that's, that's kind of neat. Um, very easy to use, like just like import and just drag, drag and drop. So that's pretty cool. Um, so here's the footage. Got He-Man on Battle Cat, um, Skeletor and his Land Shark. So we're gonna edit this footage. We'll, let's see what we can do with this program. He's gonna be shooting some lasers here. Uh, so yeah, let's do a little bit of everything. Uh, let's see what these tools are here. So you can, you can do transitions, titles, you can add effects. Uh, there's the delete button. You can speed things up, slow things down. You can crop shots, motion. So this is the cool part about it. And you can adjust color. We're gonna click up here and add a title. So the library doesn't really have much to work with, but you can always add your own uh, titles and fonts. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna click this one. I'm gonna put He-Man right here. He-Man, all right. Uh, change the style a bit and I'm gonna apply. There you go. We have our He-Man title. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty easy to do. Uh, let's mess with the colors here. So again, uh, you can change the, uh, the color. You can adjust volume. You can uh, reverse reverse the speed. Put it in play it in reverse. You can Im blur images and smooth it smooth things out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's just uh, play with the colors and filters here. So let's uh, adjust the lighting exposure in the background, and let's play with this like. Uh, contrast uh, so this looks pretty crisp and saturation I like the color to pop there you go uh, so now let's just do something simple again uh, we're gonna add some effects so let's so as you can see a uh, video prog vlogger already has a couple of effects that you can add but then it doesn't have that much so you can always import your own stuff so I'm right now I'm importing uh, my own laser blast effect that's on my computer and I'm just gonna add it here so again, I imported it, it's right here, drag and drop. So I want it to be here, because that's where the laser uh, effect shoots out in the scene. And look, you can just drag and drop it. That's pretty cool, it's very easy. I love that you can rotate it. That's very, very uh, useful, especially when you're playing with the positioning of like where the effect needs to go. Let's make it a little bit bigger here, uh, a little bit bigger, add it right there, perfect. Um, so that, again, very simple, very user friendly. Now I want to show you guys the best part about this program, in my opinion, which is the motion cropping. So motion cropping is basically digital camera movement and you can move the camera in different ways uh, without you having to actually move your physical camera when you're filming the stop motion. So right here, look, you can add, we're gonna add in an easy zoom. And the best part about this is that it's already a presetting that you can just click and it adds it for you without having to know how to do all the math and numbers. So here's the zoom in. Uh, again, very visual. You can just drag and drop the boxes of where you want it to zoom in and zoom out. So I want it to zoom out here. So I'm actually, I'm actually right now customizing it a little bit. Let's, let's see how it looks like. Click apply. So on the left side is the original and on the right side is the new version. Look at that, that is cool. That is cool. Let's let's play with another one of the digital camera mo motion presets. That, again, that's awesome. That was super easy to do. Add so much depth. Uh, let's try. You can do close up, pull out, pull, uh, push in the camera. Earthquake. Let's add this one. 
this is gonna have, this digital camera movement is gonna make it seem like there's an earthquake. Um, and again, this is the scene where he shoots the laser, so I want I want the audience to feel the impact. So let's click apply. Let's play. Zoom in. That looks cool. That's when he says something menacing, and then the earthquake shot. That's awesome. So you see the, the camera just shut digitally. So that that, that was dope. All in all, I think this video editing program, Video Prog Vlogger, is pretty fantastic for beginners who are just learning uh, to use video editing and put together their own movies. Uh, I, I mean, I wish this would have been out when I was uh, younger and I, when I was starting my YouTube channel. And again, I think this is a fantastic spot for beginners. It's very, very user friendly. It allows you to implement some pretty advanced techniques without having to do that much work. So that's a super plus right there. Um, and I mean, things like the the digital camera movements on this pre on these pre settings that are already ready to go for you. That's just amazing, I think. So if you're a beginner in video editing, ever wanted to put together your own movie or stop motion for YouTube, I highly encourage that you download Video uh, Prog Vlogger. I'll put the links in the description for you. That way, all you gotta do is click the link and hit download. It'll definitely make life easier for you. You'll learn some new techniques along the way uh, by adjusting the color, lighting, adjusting sound, adding sound, adding effects, transitions, titles, and most importantly, camera movements, those digital camera movements, which are so laborious to do in other programs, are made simple and easy on this uh, on this application. Again, it's Windows and Mac friendly. And I mean, right now I'm only using the beta. So the only downside of this program is that it's brand new but, and it's some of the sources on the library are very limited, but I, I have a feeling that obviously once new updates come out, they'll start um, improving the system. They'll start adding more effects, more transitions, more titles, more things for us uh, content creators to play with. So I highly recommend you try it out. You give it a try, play around with some of this stuff. And if you want to learn more about using the program, definitely click the notification bell on the corner of the program and that'll give you um, tutorials for how to learn all the ins and outs of Video Proc Vlogger. So I hope you guys learned some valuable stuff here. I hope uh, I answer some valuable questions for some of my fans who follow me and sometimes ask, how do I edit these videos? How do I put together the stop motion? Um, go ahead, click the link, download this program and try Video Proc Vlogger for yourself. It's absolutely free um, and all in all, I think it's a pretty good program for beginners. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Stay tuned for new stop motions coming up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.